I was really wondering who that man Noel went to see at the end of the last episode was, and this episode's called The Man Named Fanzel. So I'm just gonna assume it's Fanzel. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Black Clover, episode 55. This one is called, like I said, the man named Fanzel. Last episode, we had such a heartfelt, emotional, amazing episode with everyone else going to see if they can find their own individual leads or cures to Asa's arm, because not only is it shattered all the bones in his arms, but it's also an ancient curse that the best recovery mage in the Clover Kingdom can do nothing about. So that's where we're at, and that's where we lead into this episode. We're with Noel and Finral. I'm assuming talking to Fanzel, so I'm just going to hop right on in this episode. I am so pumped. Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead of shows like Jujutsu Kaisen, Haikyuu, and many, many more to come. Check out that Patreon. Links are always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post to the Dapper channel. And then don't forget to follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys oh so very much. Uh, let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 55, the man named Fanzel. This is exactly where we left off. Fan Fanzel Kruger. And what's his relation? Yeah, I'm definitely curious. Five months ago? Okay. Just shortly after, just shortly before. Okay, so we're still in Hodge. Oh, this is before they even got their grimoire. Oh, after they got the grimoires, before they became knights. So, this is how we met him. Asta beat the shit out of that thing. <laughs> Jesus. I'm on a journey. Okay, Zell. He's like me. As soon as I'm done recording this, I'm going to get lunch. What are those potatoes? <laughs> those are potatoes, huh? This is, this is completely different from the place Noel and Fenral came to see him at. Crazy to see in five months where we become, you know. Damn, only four years older than me. Ooh, you can tell there's something deeper to that. Give us some story. True. Sounds like one who's gone through a, a love and loss. Who's He says he's waiting for someone, you know? <laughs> That's what you know would say. <laughs> he's, he has you know in his head as like his conscience. But nope. Says okay, I'll do it. My man stays being naked, but what does he know about sword fighting? He's giving him some solid pointers. Ooh, okay, and then turn. Oh, okay. To be able to keep it set, I see. Damn, he's helping him out. Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. What is he gonna have a cool weapon? A stick. Oh, what's his magic? It's green. Wind creation magic. Emperor of slashing winds. He can turn anything he holds into a wind sword. Emperor of slashing winds. That looks so cool. That's fucking dope. A wind sword. So Asta had a little mentor I didn't even know about. Oh, 
契約束してくれその夢を叶えるため以外には絶対に私の教えたものは使わない I like that He's gonna teach you the tools you need but he's gotta make sure your intentions are correct you know Seems like a seems like a good dude Another fist bump promise. You guys know how that works out. A few days later, so a few days of training. So this is how Asa became so nasty. I mean, I just assumed he was just so strong. He was, you know, a natural. Wow, top three. I want to know who the other two are, but doesn't use a sword like a sword. It's playing like the Magic Knight theme song. Is someone he taught in the Magic Knights? I'm trying to think who uses a sword, but it's not like a sword. So curious. You got them all fired up. <laughs> Mariella. She's one of my students. She's been helping me look for my fiance, the someone he's waiting for. Whoa, is my man like a felon? What's going on? Dominanto. Oh, wow. Which is what? I okay. I see. I was gonna say that thing on her cape did look like a diamond, but I just thought purely that's for aesthetic purposes. But all the diamond users have some sort of diamondy look to them built in, just like how all the clover people have clovers built into a lot of different things. So that's super interesting. But they're from the diamond kingdom. Wow. あの、先生。私は他の子を逃がしてくれた時のこと覚えていますか。他のみんなは私以外全員死にました。みんなダイヤモンド王国から送られてきた資格に。Wow. Not what I was expecting, right? I won't lie. Lars. Or Mars. I keep saying Lars. Final adjustments. That's... Oh, so... So when he says he taught someone his number one student was someone who uses a sword but not like a sword, was he talking about Mars? Because if he was, if he left the Diamond Kingdom because of their cruel ways, and he was one of the ones who instructed one of these Diamond up bringing kids to, you know, murder each other in that battle royale to see who was the strongest. You just said his name was Mars, but. Yeah. I, so he's probably the number one he was talking about who uses a sword, not like a sword. I don't think he can. He's just saying that to get Asa to safety. Maybe he actually can. I thought Asa was going to be clutch and get rid of all these guys, pop off somehow. Yeah, my boy Asa has no types of backing down. Smacking all those guys. The battle is on. 
using his fiance's wand. Winter wind. Ooh, it's like a bunch of projectile, like wind blades. Oh, and I just, I thought it was ice she was using at first. It, it, it looks like it's like crystal, just like Mars or like diamond magic, whatever that is. I wonder if it's partially that. Partially, she does still admire him, respect him, you know. So I definitely think she's retreating because, yeah, technically she did lose, lose a couple of her men. So it's technically it falls into that strategy, but she definitely cares for him still. I like that answer. Reevaluated his resolve. He's gonna live the rest of his life to f try to atone for what he's done in the past. You know, that's why he can't die until he's done. <laughs> the best kind of mentors aren't the proper ones, so. <laughs> How is he naked already? He just had clothes. I swear this man's real magic is wind creation magic. Take clothes off Emperor Slash. Like Jesus, swear to God. That was a fun episode though. Wow, this is one of the only Black Clover episodes without a petite clover. That shocked me. But uh, the man named Fonzel, definitely a flashback. I can see why the episode was named after him. Um, but interesting story. He he left the Diamond Kingdom after, you know, not really aligning politically with their views and the things that they do, which makes sense. They seem to be kind of extremists. And so he uh, left. He freed all of his students first off, which is super sad about what happened to them. You know, he tried to leave with his wife, but assassins sent after them. They got separated. He's been kind of looking for her on the low, sending Mariella to do it. But Mariella has been out there killing all the other students because it's her life on the line as well. So it's kind of uh, kind of unfortunate when it comes to that. But she obviously still has some moniker of respect respect and admiration for him she is definitely in charge of this assassin squad they've she's done such a good job killing the other students that they've kind of upgraded her so i wonder where that's gonna lead i wonder i definitely think we're gonna see her again and i don't know what role she's gonna play because this whole arc seems to be the diamond kingdom like we're getting up there but uh she was interesting she also seemed to have crystal magic kind of like mars like it, it might have been ice but i assume because diamond kingdom crystal i assume it's like the crystal magic um but still interesting the rest of the mages the assassins from what i could tell used fire magic just like fauna did still curious about fauna i want to see her again and see her and mars come in contact that would be interesting af um his magic in terms of fonzel's is super cool wind creation emperor wind slash or whatever he had a couple of those like wind winter winds and the, just the wind sword just fucking dope all around like just another like how often do we see wind we see you know and then have we seen another wind user besides you know i don't think so correct me if i'm wrong obviously but damn i love seeing some like we like i always love seeing water users because i'm always thinking oh how, this is going to be like noel but then super different from noel because noel is very specific like when we saw owen do his little jellyfish thing i thought that was super dope so you know what are the odds that I'm wearing the Gara shirt and, you know, we're talking about Mars in here, you know, I like to consider Gara kind of like, or Mars kind of like the Gara of this show. And, you know, very, I love Gara personally, as you guys can tell. So, um, fantastic episode though. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you guys want early access and full length to this show and all, you know, all the other ones, early access, all that jazz, check out that Patreon. Other than that, have a great day, you guys. Peace out.